Today I'm going to show you how to build the ultimate press brake attachment. Stick around. I recently built these steps which are going to go on our $750 Marketplace Tandem Axle Trailer Rebuild Project. These are going to go in front and behind of the fenders and we're going to cut a hole in them and put a clearance light. I built them using this press brake attachment. The maximum width of this is 12 inches. So that's the maximum width I can make this. I need them to be a little bit wider. So we're going to build our own press brake attachment today. Let me show you a quick clip of me building these and trying them out on the trailer. I'm really excited to show you this. There are plenty of press brake builds online, but none quite like this. In the next few minutes, I'm going to show you a totally unique way to create part of a press brake using a surprisingly simple hand tool. Something that's never been done before. Trust me, you won't believe how easy this is. In between this press is 22 and a half inches. So I've got a piece of flat plate that's half inch by six inches. I'm going to cut this to 22. This is going to be my top punch. And this is a piece of three quarter thick by four inch flat bar. The one labor intensive part is gonna be putting this little bevel on the end. And you don't necessarily need this type of saw to make this cut. You could actually cut this using the same saw that you just saw me cutting that plate with for about 120 bucks. That should give us a bending capacity of about 18 and a half inches. Set this on some scraps, then tack these. Then I can flip it over and on the back side of this, I can weld along this seam. This design aspect of welding it on the back side is fairly unique compared to other designs on the internet, but that wasn't what I was referring to earlier in the video. You're gonna see that coming right up. The next thing we gotta do is put this profile on our punch. Is use a router with a carbide bit that's 45. It's got a bearing on it. This right here is the secret sauce, guys. This is what I am just totally blown away with. This worked incredible. That is literally just a wood cutting router with a wood cutting router bit. I could not be happy with this. A lot of guys I see using a grinder and I could just picture having just this really wavy, uneven edge. So there's half of it. Now we gotta flip it over. Everyone watching this is wondering how much does this cost? Well, towards the end of the video, I'm gonna go over all of that. I've already given you a lot of my materials list, but I'm gonna talk to you about how I source my materials. Yeah, that worked good. That worked real good. And here is the finished product, and I can't wait to try it. Wow, check that out, guys. That, be that bent it better than the factory one. Definite success. New videos every Friday, so until next week, I will see you then. Take care, stay safe, and God bless.